Welcome back to Joe Son of Oxen. Um, since it became apparent that the Usec Fury fight almost certainly won't happen, maybe not this year, or well, probably not this year. I would I'd be surprised if it was this year, but certainly not in in at the end of April when they were talking about. Um, a lot of people um, blame Fury, and I think that's a, a reasonable uh, conclusion to come to because if you look at Usec and Fury, their respective um, dealings in the past. Usek has never, ever been a difficult man to deal with, or his team haven't. Uh, he's travelled. He's always fought in other people's backyards. He's a quintessential road warrior. Fury has travelled too. He's gone to Germany to beat Klitschko and to America to beat Wilder three times. Ignore the draw. It was a win. Um, so he's travelled too. Uh, but regarding this fight, a lot of people have come to the conclusion that Fury is the problem. Um, he wants too much so the question is why and a lot of people have been saying he's scared of fighting Usyk scared he doesn't think he can win he's not confident look I don't think that a man who goes to Germany to beat Klitschko and a man who goes to America to smash up Wilder three times is is scared is a weak mental person I don't think that's quite the issue I know why people say it and some people say well Usyk isn't Klitschko or or Wilder uh, styles make fights and all the rest of it. And Usek is in his prime. Or we, maybe not, certainly not past his prime. Um, and, you know, he's a different proposition. And Fury understands boxing very well. And he knows what the type of style that could give him trouble. So it's, um, it's a very, very high risk. And I think Fury is someone who wants to, definitely wants to retire undefeated. The idea of being defeated is, is a real uh, anathema to him. It's, it's total kryptonite. So I think that um, I don't think he's scared of fighting. I think he's scared of losing, which is a different thing, a slightly different thing. He's not scared of another man. He'll fight anyone. Um, he is a fighting man. But that you can be that type of character, but also be quite psychologically insecure. And I think this is where it comes in for Fury. The fear that Fury has, and he clearly does have, have a great deal of fear in him about different things in life because his mental health issues you don't have mental health issues unless there is some element of fear or concern or anxiety chronic anxiety there i think the idea of being beaten really um yeah, that's the thing that, that fury can't stand and he knows that usek is an absolute threat he's got extremely good balance very very good feet he gives people angles he doesn't let you set yourself you're constantly trying to reset to land punches um, he can control bigger men and the amateurs. He beat Joe Joyce. You know, Joe Joyce on the floor in the first round. I think he did. Uh, he's dealt with AJ twice. And regardless of what people say, AJ is a legitimate um, elite heavyweight. You know, he's lost three times. Losing to Usyk twice on points and, you know, avenging a knockout defeat to Andy Ruiz. Yeah, you know, they're, they're, not, <laughs> they're not ideal results. But AJ, as if you look at, if you analyse his record, he's fought anyone put in front of him at any time. He hasn't tried to vie for, you know, too much money or, uh, uh, you know, different uh, a different time span. He hasn't waited for anyone to sort of put miles on the clock so that he's got a better chance of beating them. He's taken them all on. Um, and they haven't all been in their prime. Kubrat Pulev and Alexander Povetkin weren't in their prime. But nevertheless, AJ takes people on whenever they're put in front of him. Fury doesn't. Fury likes those angles. He likes to try and... Um, <sighs> yeah. He likes he likes the deck to be stacked in his favour, very much so. Not just financially. And when he talks about fighting for free and money doesn't matter, of course it matters to him. It's, it's action. Look, you can you can spew enough enough hot air to to you know uh, fill a graph zeppelin, um, but it doesn't matter. Your actions are what counts. And he's proven again and again, money does matter. He wants the maximum dollar, um, and he wants things stacked in his favour. That's why he offered. Uh, Joshua the fight when Joshua was coming off to back you know back to back defeats to Usyk and had just come off two tough camps he thought well Joshua's never been so so um, vulnerable I'll take him on then uh, he's there for the taking he's there for me to look good I can go in there and knock him out he suddenly felt confident because Joshua was diminished psychologically and mentally as well as physically worn out um, so he it, this is a sort, sort of Floyd Mayweather tactic and 
by cancelling the USEC fight, or not cancelling it, but uh, postponing it, postponing the negotiations, trying to make excuses, not accepting the 60-40 to the winner deal, which seems very fair to me. Uh, by doing that, Fury is probably hoping that USEC loses and therefore puts some miles on the clock or gets you know, a bit, bit past, past his prime. Because don't forget, Usyk hasn't had many fights against these giant men. Um, so, you know, they put Miles on the clock and then he's there for the taking. Then I've got the advantage. That seems to be the way Fury thinks. But again, I get back to this idea. You know, I wouldn't say he's scared. I would say he, but I would say he doesn't want the fight. And I think, again, I think I think we as the public can only go by actions because words are meaningless. The Fury fanboys will, will lap up anything Tyson Fury says and they'll believe it. If he said grass is blue and the sky is green and black is white and up is down and, you know, you, know, the, the, you can't reason with these people. They, they don't think logically. They don't think objectively. Um, but the rest of us can only go on actions. We, words are meaningless. And I, I never expected this fight to happen. I thought I never thought Fury wants to fight. Um, and the farce against Chisora, I think at one point was sort of promoted as being almost a warm up for Usek, even though for a warm up fight you were forced to well not forced, but you had to pay twenty seven quid to watch it. And so much for being a man of the people. Eh? Um, it's so disappointing that this Usek Fury fight probably isn't going to happen because we all wanted to see undisputed, but. Where does the where does the blame lie? I would say almost certainly at Tyson Fury and and his team's door. Maybe not even his team. Maybe maybe Warren and Aram say, "Well, yeah, get in the ring." And Fury's like, "No, we don't really fancy it. Not now, anyway." So, but fear fear is a different thing, and sometimes fear of things that are not anything to do with boxing or fighting. You may not have any fear of physical confrontation, but you may have fear of other aspects in life. And I think that's very true of Tyson Fury. Someone who is that volatile, that erratic and that contradictory uh, is has some sort of anxiety inside them. And I think this is a perfect example, this whole Usyk business, of what is meant by that. Um, but anyway, leave your comments below. Say, say what you think. I'll have a read of them. Um, this is kind of a follow-up to the previous video I did regarding this matter. I've just been thinking about it and chewing it over in my head. Um, like the video if you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you knew. That would be a fantastic help. It only takes a second. Thank you very much for your time as always. And yeah, looking forward to reading your comments. Bye for now.